Believe it or not, there was a time when most people got useful information from signs they would see on the streets, but with technology readily available, the need for signs have become outdated, and now residents say those signs are now an eyesore. Harkin McCoy spoke with both the city of Huntsville and Madison to find out if these signs are in compliance. Many residents enjoy a nice, quiet, and clean neighborhood. But users on Reddit are having concerns about one eyesore and all signs point to a potential problem. Yes, we're talking yard signs. One user on Reddit shares, many of these signs are out of compliance with the city's sign ordinance, which, if you live in Madison, is true. We, we have an ordinance where we don't allow it. So Madison doesn't allow, there's no, there's not supposed to be any signs in the city of Madison. Mayor Paul Finley shares Madison has had the ordinance in place since 2014. I, I think it was around 2014. Um, really one of our city councilmen, he's now our, our city administrator, Steve Smith, kind of led that charge. He had listened to his residents. Too many signs. We can find these houses now on Zillow. You know, we don't have to have the directional signage. Over in Huntsville, Councilman Bill Kling explains while there isn't an ordinance against it, there are certain rules. One of the most important rules that we have for all of these types of signs, whether they're real estate signs or political candidate signs, is they cannot be on the right of way, especially where they're going to be blocking traffic. They need to be normally about 10 feet away from the street. Uh, they can be there, but if they're going to be there, that needs to be with the property owner's uh, permission. Both share that signs, like political signs, are permitted in homeowners' yards. Political signs in people's yards, absolutely acceptable. On corners where people, um, where, where a, a local candidate can get that put there, absolutely acceptable. A homeowner can put a sign in their yard uh, for as many candidates as they want to. In fact, uh, I remembered uh, a couple places when I, last time I ran, I would see uh, campaign signs in the same yard for me, the person running for city council against me, and then also for the two school board candidates that were running at the time. So it's a crazy process, but uh, uh, a person can do whatever they want to. It's their yard. For Fox 54 News, I'm Ken McCoy.